I'm Jeff Embrilling, the Chief Curator of the Oriental Institute Museum, and I'm very excited to announce a new exhibit entitled Visible Language, Inventions of Writing in the Ancient Middle East and Beyond that opens here at the Oriental Institute on September 28th. The Oriental Institute houses one of the world's great collections of art, artifacts, and texts from the civilizations of the ancient Middle East, ancient Egypt, Mesopotamia, and Persia, and it's right here on the south side of Chicago on the campus of the University of Chicago. Join the exhibit's curator, Christopher Woods, for a discussion about what you'll find in this exhibit. Visitors will learn about the four pristine writing systems, how they were invented, the mechanics of each uh, invention, and the social context of each invention. They'll learn about some of the precursors to writing, the types of devices that led up to writing and predated writing, and they'll learn about the origins of writing itself, how language was first expressed with uh, drawings, pictographs, and how these pictographs evolved, how writing um, gradually came to express more of the phonetic component of language. They'll also learn about the origins of the alphabet. But an interesting element of the uh, invention of writing is that literature and history are secondary developments. Uh, writing is usually, or as far as we understand, it appears to be uh, invented for more practical reasons, or at least that's the case uh, in Mesopotamia, the civilization where we have the clearest understanding of the, uh, the origins of writing. There are, of course, um, successful complex societies that got along without writing, but typically writing is associated with civilization. Writing allows civilizations, as they become more complex, to record information in ways that just are simply not possible with the human memory or more primitive devices. One tends to think of early writing as being very simplistic, that people sort of wrote one sign, maybe two. But in truth, uh, writing, particularly if you look at the Mesopotamian example, uh, is invented full-blown. And these are very complex records already at the origins uh, of writing. Visitors will see proto-cuneiform tablets that have never been on display in this country that date to about 5,000 years ago. They'll also see some examples of uh, the earliest hieroglyphic writing from Egypt. Also on display will be early examples of Chinese writing from the Shang Dynasty, as well as um, Mesoamerican hieroglyphs. Visitors will enjoy the fact that this is the first major exhibition on writing in the United States in 25 years. There's been a great interest in writing systems um, in scholarly literature, but this is the first exhibition open to the public um, on this topic in um, over two decades. Hello, I'm Gil Stein, the director of the Oriental Institute. You've just heard Professor Woods describe the invention of writing in the ancient world. This is extremely important because it was the world's first true information revolution and it echoes with us today as we go through yet another information revolution. There are many other firsts from the ancient world at the Oriental Institute where you can see the treasures of the ancient civilizations of Mesopotamia, Egypt, Anatolia, and other parts of the ancient Middle East. I invite you to come and visit us at the Oriental Institute and see these wonders for yourself.